greatest players that have ever played our game. And oddly enough, he's a 333rd player to go in the Hall of Fame. All the Colorado Rocky uh, people who have worked with you, myself, and especially the fans. We want to say thank you for being who you were and playing as hard as you were. And thank you for not playing hockey. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Now, for, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can direct your attention to Rocky's vision for this special video presentation. Oh, right here. And people ask me all the time, what's the deal with you and the number three? Well, I'll tell you. I wouldn't say I have a lot of routines, or at least I wouldn't admit it. But the number three here means a lot to me. And it has ever since double O. To be honest, I used to cart my girlfriend's initials on me on deck circle. She dumped me. Three swings <laughs> became, I think. If not three swings, then six or nine. And the three hits every game. Of course not, but you get it. Of the three teams I suited up for, Colorado was special. But I knew it was home as soon as I got here. God, feels good. I'm proud of what I accomplished with the Rockies. The All-Star Games. The Gold Gloves. Here comes Walker's Silver Sluggers. Yeah, three of those. <laughs> Hey, butthead. So they're doing a replica for him. So 
A little over two weeks ago, the, the baseball world watched as Larry Walker accepted his induction into the Hall of Fame. Yeah, with his uh, and as the video SpongeBob. just said, yeah, he was the 30, 333rd individual to do so. For over nine years, we were blessed to watch this incredible athlete roaming right field. Whether throwing out some poor base runner at almost any base, a big hit, a home run, or gracefully walking around, gliding around the bases. On September 8th, we saw his character, humility, and of course his humor. We saw the son, the brother, the father, the friend, and the teammate. Larry is much more than a Hall of, Hall of Fame player. He is a Hall of Fame human being. Oh, you mean for the We are so proud that Larry will be forever linked to the Colorado Rockies and that our young players will strive to emulate Larry's feats. Larry, today is your day and forever that magical 33 will sit right up there some 50 feet from where you roam the field. Larry, you are simply the best, and we love you. So she get uh, an idea of uh, some of the gifts. Also, there's a 2021 Rockies team autograph magnum of Larry's favorite wine, a 2017 Joseph Phelps insignia. After the game, you can come visit. Yes. Uh, also, from the got a big one. on behalf of the Broadmoor and the Rockies, we're excited to present Larry's certificate Rock. inviting you to experience the Broadmoor's cloud camp, sitting at 3,000 feet above the resort with unobstructed 360 degree views. Cloud Camp is located on the historic site of Cheyenne Lodge, offering both daytime and evening activities. Guests have the opportunity to enjoy all that this unique Colorado getaway has to offer. Road, show yours. Here it is. All right, fans, don't be afraid to join me. Ladies and gentlemen, not batting for your Colorado Rockies. Right fielder. <laughs> well, first of all, thank you to, to Vinny, Gib, and Vic for your kind words, and for last night for the fireworks. I got emotional last night just watching the fireworks. It was incredible. For the Colorado Rockies, the fans, the Montford family, I say thank you for this incredible day. There is nothing bigger an organization can do to honor a player than to retire his number, and I'm thrilled that the number three will live on right next to the greatest Rocky of them all, the Todd Father. <laughs> this has been an amazing September for me. Earlier this month I was in Cooperstown, New York, where I was so honored to be inducted to the Baseball Hall of Fame. 
wearing a Rockies cap. And now, here I am back in Denver for this awesome occasion. It's really been a whirlwind couple of weeks. I have to start with a huge thank you to my two teammates. Many of them are, are here somewhere today. Thank you all for being here and even those that are not here. The Hall of Fame and today's retirement, these accolades do not happen without every one of my teammates. Thank you all so much. And to the fans, of course, I was at the first Rockies home game in 1993. I was a visiting player, and I was in awe of the 85,000 strong filling the seats to support their new team. Nestled here in the mountains, Denver reminded me of where I grew up in Newport Ridge, British Columbia, and soon Denver became my home. The fans and the beauty of Colorado brought me to the Rockies in 95, and from my first day wearing the pinstripes until my final game here in 04, the city gave me nothing but love. And from all you fans to everyone that works here at Coors Field, the parking attendants, the ushers, security personnel, grounds crew, ticket office, front office, the clubbies, everyone. <laughs> Each of you have shown me nothing but love and respect, and I hope you felt me reciprocating those feelings. I remain so very grateful for each one of you. I carry many great memories from my time playing with the Rockies. We'll see how many of these you remember. In 98, Coors Field had the first, close in its first All-Star game. On August 22nd, 2000, when Brent Bain, our catcher, earned the win after pitching a scoreless inning. On June 8, 2008, when Mike Lansing hit with a cycle, and he completed it by the fourth inning. On May 31st, 1997, when Andres Galarraga almost hit a ball completely out of Miami's Pro Player Stadium. <laughs> On August 2nd, 1997, when Todd Helton played the first game of what I consider a Hall of Fame career. season when many said a Rockies player would never win the MVP award. For those of you who are born yet, that, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> and in 1998, when Vinny hit 319 with 46 bombs and an incredible 144 RBIs, and he only struck out 89 times. 1995, my first year here at the Rockies, and one of my favorite skippers, Don Baylor, won the National League Manager of the Year. Woo! Woo! And on about April 26, 1995, who remembers that one? It was the first one here at Curse Field, and I'll never forget Dante's fist pump when he hit that walk off home run on the 14th inning. And of course, October 1st, 1995, when we overcame an early 8 2 deficit to these San Francisco Giants to win that game and earn our first wild card entry into the playoffs. Those are just a few of my memories, there are many more. And as you can see, behind me a certain Hall of Fame plaque made its way here from Cooperstown for this special day. I hope you're able to take a photo with it today or that one day you visit it at the National Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown. But I want you to all view that plaque with a certain amount of pride I want you to see it with your face on it, not mine. I want you to see the CR on that black's cap and realize that all of you are the reason we play. You're the reason this team exists. So today, I don't say that I have a black in Cooperstown. I say we have a black in Cooperstown. of my dedication to this city, to this team, and especially to all of you Rockies fans. I thank you all so very, very much. Sorry, Dad.